Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me on a beautiful day here in the south of France at Circuit Paul Ricard for a pretty epic experience in this, the new Mercedes AMG GT track series celebrating 55 years of AMG since they were founded back in 1967. There will only be 55 of these made for customers taking the GT Black series and making it even more at home on the racetrack. We're talking more power, more aero, competition tires, you name it. We're going to have a full look around this car today. Then I'm going to be getting behind the wheel for a few laps here on the famous Paul Ricard circuit near to Marseille. This is going to be a little bit crazy and I cannot wait to see what this is all about. About. This is a pretty amazing place to be, the famous Circuit Paul Ricard, the iconic blue paint around the racetrack, home to a lot of history and heritage, and even the Formula One Grand Prix here in France. But it's only going to be the second time I've ever driven this circuit. The first is actually quite topical to what we're driving today. It was about five years ago, and of course, excuse the very loud cars going past at the moment, and it was actually driving the Mercedes AMG GT4 car, the race car for the customers, the customer racing program that can take part in GT4 championships around the world. And it was actually in the very same week that I took delivery of my original AMG GTR. So since then, I've done a lot of different track days in the GTR, in my GTR Pro, and more recently in my GT Black series, which of course links us to this. Now I've driven that at the Nürburgring Nordschleifer, at Dubai Autodrome, at Yas Marina, but this is the result of taking the GT Black Series and throwing out the rule book, creating a car that is not homologated for the road, that is all about experiencing on track days. Now, as I said, there are going to be 55 of them in total, 55, linking to the 55 years of Mercedes AMG's history, being founded back in 1967 through to 2022. But effectively, what they've done with this is take the GT Black Series, so the flat plane crank, four litre bi turbo V8 engine, dialed everything up, taken out weight, giving it more carbon fiber, more aero, more downforce, slick tires for a day like today. It is everything that you would want as a recipe to have fun on a track day program. And it will be part of that customer experience program. So supported by the Mercedes AMG team, by HWA. And well, let's have a walk around to go through, I suppose, more details of the car itself. The engine actually takes power up a few horsepower to 734, thanks to motorsport injectors. We have a slightly different layout here to the hood. Obviously, this is all about cooling and the radiators that you have going on at the very front. A lot of carbon fiber bodywork, the quick release hood pins up front. As we come down, we've got the AMG specific style grille at the front, but a very different look to it. And also a new splitter extends slightly further out. Obviously, your permanently mounted towing hook and everything that you would want for a track day car, for a track toy effectively. This is seriously limited and I know that demand massively outstrips the potential supply for these. Let's talk wheels for example, very familiar AMG style design, the forged wheel we have here, but 18 inches, which means effectively you can run a pretty standard size competition tire, slicks, wets, whatever it is you might want to put on there. You've got the AP racing brakes and you have a lot of adjustment that you can make. You can change your dampers, you can change your anti-roll bars, you can change everything to set it up, how you would like the car to be able to interact with all of that. We've got the AMG livery over the top of this paint, which is actually a special paint it's the high-tech silver with the Magno finish. So the same color the GT Black Series was launched with alongside the Magna Beam with the Magno over the top of that. If we come around towards the back, you don't have things like electric windows, obviously the carbon back here, more carbon body panels like on the boot lid, and we get to the spoiler, the rear wing. Like on the GT Black Series, you've got this double layer wing. You have an additional gurney up top, in fact, that runs all the way across. You still have the active middle section, like on the AMG One, so under braking, that can go up. If you need more downforce at the back, it can also raise to a higher position. You can manually adjust the lower wing and change that to a different position. At the moment, it's actually set to the highest speed because we are driving the circuit today without the chicane down the back straight. So it's going to be fast, very, very, very fast. Again, quick release down here. Pretty familiar from the road car, it has to be said, with the diffuser and the quad tailpipes that we have and a very cool view actually that you have straight through into the rear section of the car because race car now talking race car let's come and have a look at the interior of this as well where again it doesn't need to be a road car it doesn't need all of the comforts it's only 1400 kilo curb weight down from the road car but in here We've got the full racing setup, fixed roll cage. We've got that squared style steering wheel. We've got the full carbon fiber bucket seat, all of the buttons and controls that you would need to communicate 
with those in the pit lane, for example, the radio, the intercom. You can opt to have it with air conditioning, so you can run this car with full AC if you should prefer. We've got the full carbon doors uh, or the door cards on the inside, again, saving a little bit more weight. But this is ultimate track experience, hence why I am currently suited and booted and ready to do some warm-up laps, get a feel for it, and then experience it in anger and see how it stacks up to the GT Black Series. And I have a feeling this is gonna be epic. So let's find out. It's very nearly time, which means getting geared up, getting ready. We're gonna be doing this a few lead follow laps and then it'll be time for the real thing. Nervous, excited, everything it should be. Here we go. Follow to start. Gosh, nerves right now. Proper nerves. My first outing in the GT Track Series. We can wave through. Out onto full return. Proper sequential shift. Get that good first entry and you can carry it through the 
other corners, especially here. Wow. <laughs> Really 
intense experience. An epic experience. But my word, an intense experience. What have I just driven? Into neutral. Coasted in. And we're done. We're done. Out I get then. My word. I need some time to think. My blood. That has been, honestly, unbelievable. Um, 10 laps of Paul Ricard I've driven in total in the GT Track Series. I'm a bit shaky from how powerful it is. I'm a bit uh, sweaty, unsurprisingly. Helmet hair, big time, coming up. But, my word, as an experience, I mean, that was really out of this world. I mean, I've been lucky to drive a couple of GT3, GTE race cars, and they are always, you know, just the level of grip that the car has is in a different league. But that was really quite approachable. Like, I didn't feel terrified. And even driving the GT4 cars, I have often felt like it's quite intimidating. Like I said, uh, what I was driving, I was saying that it's quite intimidating to begin with when you don't really know where you are and what you're doing. You don't really know the circuit, you don't know the car, and it's like, go. And you know that the guy after you has to drive it, and you know that they're almost priceless prototype vehicles. And it's like, right, it's your turn. Give it a go, have a shot. Oh. Yeah, I need some time to like get some sugar back inside me, cool down a bit, because you know the, the team here are straight on working on the car, getting ready for its next drive. And um, mind is pretty blown by that. Mind is absolutely blown by that. It is really quite hard to put into words how mega it is to drive. <laughs> oh, that snap. So the other car comes in just down below us here for a, a quick stop. It's, I've said it a few times, but it's so much more approachable than driving in a GT3 or a GTE. Obviously, when I've driven those cars in the past, having spent a lot of time in road supercars on race tracks, they're lacking in the straight line power because they're often restricted at 500, 550 horsepower or something. And it takes a while to learn what that extra grip is like. It takes a while to become familiar with having slick tires, with having that level of, of aero. And obviously, this builds on even the GT Black Series level of aero with slicks with that amount of power, unrestricted effectively. And it's something that just makes you go, you know, like, whoa, this is fast. Now for today, because prototype car, because testing, and because the need to keep the prototypes in absolute tip top shape, we've had TC and ABS turned to a middle setting. It's all configurable and you can change everything and set it how you like and obviously felt a little bit of that kicking in at times, saving me at times as well. But the idea of something like this is that it can be driven by a pro, and you know, maybe you need to go racing at some point, uh, or it can be driven by a gentleman who wants to have a, a track toy to really experience something the next step up, step up from a road car, the next step up in this case from the GT Black Series. And I think also interestingly, if you think about this, the GT Track Series, that kind of tells us with the clue in the name that it's a series. GT is this particular model. Track series might well become a thing we see more of in the future. And obviously here we've got the full team working on it, but I don't know what the next model could possibly be. Maybe there'll be another black series model down the line. We've had six so far, but obviously I guess there's an idea that this could become a one make race series or something. This could become who knows what with the track series iterations down the line. Today has just been utterly fantastic as the other car comes in. The two cars, obviously both here. And just awesome to watch what everyone's up to really. Watch the whole pit crew refueling the car. and Watch the second one rolling on in here in the pit lane. You can tell from the fact that I'm speaking really quite slowly that my brain is trying to process this because it's so fast. It's so fast. Down the back straight, 302, 303, something like that. It's about 188 miles per hour in a race car. So stuck to the ground and stable at that speed, as you would expect. And then so stuck to the ground and stable through the corner. The interesting thing with it is how you, you know, you trail brake and you can shift the balance because it's a front mid engine. When you get back on the throttle, 
the way the nose lifts up a bit and tucks them back down is what gives you that stability. And the same, you know, braking, you can, you can trail in and just manage it. They've got really wide front tyres, so 325 wide front and rears, whereas the road car is 285 wide fronts and 335 wide at the rears. So we've got a 325 set all around on this thing. <laughs> I'm just beaming. What an afternoon to drive here at the Circuit Paul Ricard, which at the time of filming has hosted three F1 races in the modern era. First two won by Lewis Hamilton, third by Max Verstappen, each respectively winning the championship in those years. But obviously the history before that of many Formula One races over the years, many other championships, many other things. It's a special place to be. It's a beautiful day to have been driving and it's a phenomenal car to have been driving in. No other way of looking at it. What a fantastic, fantastic experience. I still can't quite get my head over the fact that I'm here in the pit lane at Circuit Paul Ricard, having just driven this, the AMG GT track series. Of course, it's the end of the day now, everything is being packed up, but I've only been able to scratch on the surface of this car. There's obviously so much more to it. It's race car, you can adjust everything. You've got the Wilstein dampers, you can adjust the rebound and compression, you've got the adjustable anti-roll bars, you can adjust the ride height, you can set it up exactly how you'd want, completely different to a road car, where you kind of just press a button and that's it. You've got the quick release latches if you want to pop open the bonnets. And obviously this is a prototype car with lots of test equipment. Just press the latches, lift it up, and there you go. You've got so much more aero to it. And I notice how much more aggressively the rear wing is set up. Obviously we mentioned the gurney, but even the angle of attack and everything about it based on the regular car, you know, the regular style bodywork, these extra arches that came on for the Black Series, but taking weight out of it, adding even more craziness to it. And I tell you what, with the car just here in the pit lane, I'm gonna take a step inside and show you a little bit more of the interior. Now there's no dignified way to do this. Kind of grab the cage, swing in a little bit. It's not too bad, to be honest. And you know, talking cage, you've got the full cage built into the car. Obviously no pretty trimmings and finishings, a bit like the road car in some ways, the way it's shaped, you've got your air conditioning optional you can also opt to have a passenger cell you can opt to have a drinking system you can opt to have seat and helmet ventilation so you can make it a pretty pleasant track day car to be honest and on the steering wheel you've got all the controls your indicators your drink switches your lights oh, sorry your wipers lights over here that's the start stop button pit speed limiter your headlight flashes but at the end of the day you know this is a crazy crazy machine this is the like ultimate to drive a day like today to go and have some fun with to go and blast around a grand prix circuit like poor a card and while you know for me it's let's say a learning experience it would take a lot longer for me to fully adjust and adapt and be able to make the most of driving something like this even today i've been able to get a feel for it to get behind the wheel and give it a go and enjoy the amount of power similar to what i'm familiar with from road cars but also start to feel some of that extra grip obviously there's massively more grip out of this than even the cup 2rs on the road car which are not exactly a tire that lacks in grip when they're up to temperature but this is race car and through the customer racing program they can support everything you can purchase in advance a spare parts package for example and they have a direct system with hwa for keeping on top of all of that as well for today this has been quite the experience it's quite hard to put into words completely what it's been all about but it's the end of the day everything's being packed up and it's going to be time to call it for now so i hope i've been able to portray a little bit of what driving the mg track gt track series has been like it's been out of this world but for now i'm going to go and chill out calm down a little bit and reflect on what has been an amazing day out here at the Circuit Paul Ricard. So thank you very much for watching, as always, guys. I appreciate your support an awful lot. Thank you to the team at AMG for the opportunity to drive this today. There are going to be 55 very, very lucky customers. That's it for now, though. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!